Uh, I think we were just late on a lot of our rotations. I think they did a great job moving the ball, uh, you know, not being stagnant. You know, we were always just a step behind, I think, on that um, defense end. And, uh, I mean, they were making everything, uh, especially from three. So when the team's high like that, I mean, this is hard to stop them. But at the same time, you can't. You got to try to do a better job of getting them out of rhythm um, in the start of the game so that they don't, you know, uh, let that carry over for the rest of the game. And we weren't able to do that. When there's such a disparity in three-pointers made, you know, how hard is that to overcome? Uh, it's damn near impossible. Shoot, I mean, uh, what they made, we made 10, they made 22. So, I mean, you, I mean, unless you're getting to the foul line or just dominating the paint, you're not going to win uh, with that much of a difference. You know, any loss now obviously hurts your guys' chances of the plan. You know, some of you guys have been talked about. What, what's your message in the locker room, uh, you know, after a tough loss like this to, to keep going and to keep fighting? I mean, yeah, that's all it is. You got to keep playing. You got more games to play. Um, you know, we're not out of the picture. You just got to keep playing, you know, live with what happens. But, I mean, there's nothing special that we can do. You know, you just got to be locked in for the next game. You know, you two things. You guys have three more games on this road trip, all against teams that are playing for something in terms of postseason. Just how valuable can those experiences be for your group and, and the young guys? Uh, I think it be, can be really helpful. I think uh, it's going to be a lot of competitive basketball. Uh, you know, we're going to get a lot of teams, you know, we're going to get, you know, we're going to see them, I think, at full strength. Uh, if not, you know, if they're not at full strength, they're going to be playing like it. Um, so we just got to be ready. You know, Jeremy is a good guy, obviously, in your rookie class. You know, what have you seen out of him and kind of what's your relationship like with him today? Yeah, uh, he's a guy who I know a little bit. Uh, always fun to play against him. Uh, he's a really good player, offense. I mean, offensively and defensively. Um, I mean, yeah, he's he's just a guy. He's gonna be probably play there for a long time, or play here for a long time in San Antonio. Uh, and I'm sure they I'm sure they're excited to have him. You see, you know, Franz you know, battle through you know, the injury. You know, obviously, he wasn't 100 percent tonight. Playing hard, just what does it say about his character and his willingness to, to do anything to be on the court? Yeah, no, it says a lot. I mean, he he's done that all year. He sprained his ankle uh, a couple times throughout the year, um, and then he always comes back for the next game. Um, you know, so that just speaks to you know, not 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 only you know just his durability, but just his want to his want to to play. I want to want to to be there for the guys, and uh, you know just put his you know whether he's at 100 percent or not. You know him trying to put his best foot forward, you know to help the team. And so, just as a teammate, it means a lot. Uh, you know a guy like that just always laying it on the line.